Hey ladies, it's Jamie with Your Guide to Style and welcome to my channel. So today I am so excited to talk to you about casual outfits with basics. And this is part two to a two part series. Part one was posted on Saturday and I will link that in the info section and up on the fly out. But that was all about styling your basic tops and jackets with a pair of jeans. And this one is going to use all of the same pieces except for two additional ones with a pair of shorts. And shorts to me are a great basic to have for the spring and summer, whether you choose a pair of shorts like the ones I'm showing you or whether you have a pair of denim shorts, doesn't really matter. I think you could make some things work and you can create a ton of outfits with just a few t-shirts, a few tops and a couple of jackets and you'll probably have more than you could actually wear. And so this is just to inspire you to think a little bit outside the box with your basics. You can add a little bit of color, maybe a fun trend that you like, but make it personalized to you. And this is personalized to me. I really love all of these pieces. So just wanted to inspire you. I hope you enjoy this. If you do, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you have time. So we will go ahead and get started on these fun casual outfits with basics shorts edition. If you want to know details on any of these pieces that I'm putting together, I did explain them to you in the first video right at the beginning. If you want to check that out, I didn't want to be too redundant and put it in this video. So the only ones that are not in that video are the sweatshirt and the longer vest that I'm going to show you. And I'll tell you about those as I get there and also the shorts. So I will explain those to you in the first outfit. So the first outfit is a very casual outfit and it's with my favorite pink cardigan sweater. And you may not have a pink cardigan sweater, but pink is a very good neutral in my wardrobe because I wear pink with everything just about. And so I grabbed this pink cardigan and I have just been in love with it, even though I'm not a cardigan girl. But it's so easy because it's shorter and it's a little bit loose and it's just fun to throw on, especially if you get cold when you go inside in the spring and summer, which I do. So I like having a layer that I can take off, maybe throw over the shoulders or wrap around the waist if I need to. But most of the time I just keep it on because I'm always cold, it seems like. But I love this that I paired over just a scoop neck white t-shirt. I tucked the t-shirt in with the black shorts. And y'all, these black shorts are amazing. They are lyocell, which is a great material for spring and summer. They're flowy, lightweight, and they just have an elastic waist. And to me, they are the perfect pair of shorts that you can wear casual or you can dress up. And so I really, really loved these. And I know they're black, but I don't really look good in tan or creams because it really washes me out. So black was my choice. They do come in brown and they do come in some lighter colors, but I don't recommend lighter colors because they were really, really see-through. So if you want these shorts they are so inexpensive i can't even talk about it. i think they may have been like 25 bucks i will put the price in the info below but perfect pair of shorts to pair with a lot of things and you'll see that as we move forward and i just put on a pair of sneakers with this because i just wanted something that i could run around in and i did a small little mini crossbody because i just thought it was fun with the outfit but you could choose whatever bag and accessories that you like and i did choose a pair of earrings too that were pink so I could bring that pink back into the outfit. I did wanna have a few different button up shirt options for my wardrobe this season, because I love that oversized trend. Even though it is a trend, you're using a very basic piece that, to make it look a little bit trendy. So I did pick just a regular white button up shirt and then a couple of oversized versions. So the first outfit we're going to look at is just with the regular white button up. It does have a little bit of a feminine touch to it. It's got some ruffles and striping and a blouse on sleeve. So it's not just a plain Jane white button up and that's just my style. And all I've done is take this and tucked it into the shorts, put on a fun sandal and some fun jewelry. And then this is my everyday bag. So this is a great casual outfit that is just very stylish, but very classic and basic. 
Now we're going to look at a couple of different versions with some oversized button-up shirts. And I did these same versions with jeans and this is just looking at them with these shorts and it works really well. So all I've done is take the white button-up shirt as just an over shirt and I put it over the gray t-shirt, although I have a white or a pink that I could also do. And I just tuck the t-shirt into the shorts and then threw on my sneakers, some white earrings, and I was good to go. And this is a very casual and very comfortable outfit to wear. And if I wanted to take off the overshirt, I could, and it would still be a really cute outfit. I would probably also add the blue ball cap that I got on with this for an even more casual and little bit sportier look. And I could change out the sneakers that I have on for some trainer sneakers if I wanted to. And that's still a great casual look as well. And if you don't like wearing the shirt out, another version would be to tie it in the front. And this is so easy to do with an oversized shirt and it looks really good. And it's very flattering if you don't like having all of that material hanging out and it gives you a little bit more shape. Now I'm going to show you the same exact outfit combination, but just with the blue and white button up shirt. And y'all, I struggled with this shirt when I first got it and had no idea how I was going to style it and started putting it together with different things. And I tried this and I really loved this as well. And you could do the gray t-shirt, the white t-shirt, or even the pink t-shirt. I did the pink one in the video with the jeans and just bring in your accessories to match it all to figure out, you know, how to make a cohesive look with whatever colors you're blending. I really love all the blues and the pinks out there. So that is kind of my jam this season. And I really wanted this shirt to work. And I think it works really well just as a casual outfit like this. And now you can see it that it looks great with it tied in the front as well. So again, if you want to create more of a waist, you want to give yourself a little bit more shape, you don't look good with things going past your hips. This is another good way to do an oversized button up shirt. Now I want to look at one of my favorite new pieces for this season, and it's an open knit pullover sweater. And I think this piece has a lot of versatility and it is also a very neutral color, which is why I considered it a basic, even though it is a little bit trendy. And all I did was take the sweater, put it over a black camisole that's tucked into the shorts. And I did front tuck the sweater, but you could leave it out if you wanted to. I just like to do that for my own style. And then I put the platform sandals on because I thought it kind of went with that vibe of the sweater. It's kind of a 90s vibe. And the hoop earrings, of course, add to that. But if you don't want to do a platform and you want to dress it down a little bit, you could just do a flat sandal. You could do a black sneaker with this and it would look good. But I think you have a lot of options with this. And I do think that this is a lot of fun to wear. This next outfit is styled with a sweater vest and I did not style the sweater vest in the first video, but I thought it looked really good proportionally with the shorts because it created a two third to one third ratio on my body. Even though it is a little bit oversized, I thought it was a really fun piece to wear. And all I did was layer it over the white t-shirt and then threw on some sneakers and my favorite earrings and I was ready to go. So this is an outfit that I would wear kind of on the daily that would keep me happy and keep me comfortable. Another item that I did not style in the last video is this sweatshirt. And although I think it goes great with a lighter pair of jeans, I really loved it with the shorts because a sweatshirt and pair of shorts as a combination outfit is one of my favorite things to wear during this time of year. So since we're transitioning and the weather can be cold or it can be warm, I thought this was the perfect solution. And I love this blue sweatshirt. It does come in other colors and it's really inexpensive. So it is linked below for you. And the ball cap matched it, so I had to put the ball cap on, and it gives it a little bit more of a casual sporty feel. And then the gladiator sandal does as well. And I love having a gladiator sandal. Thought it was a better option than the sneaker at this point, but you definitely could wear sneakers with this outfit as well. So now I wanna show you different combinations with these shorts and this blouse that I have on. So this blouse is so amazing. I talked about it in the other video. It's really inexpensive. It's really lightweight and flowy. And I thought it was great with the black shorts. Now you may disagree with me, but I love the contrast. If I wanted to just make it more of a neutral look, I would put a tan short on with this. 
but that honestly does not look that good on me because my legs are so white. And if that looks good for you, I would love for you to do that. Even a brown would look good, but I just stayed with the black and I love the contrast. And I did for this version, just add the flat shoe that's nude and has a little bit of bling to it. And I just put on a fun green earring and then some bracelets to just kind of bring the whole look together. So I think if you're bringing back in some of the lighter colors with the darker colors that you can create more of a cohesive look. And I think that's what I've done here. And now all you have to do to take this up a notch is to add that olive blazer over it. And I loved this look. I love the longer blazer with the shorts. Again, we're looking at proportions here and it still looks really good because the shorts do come out and show from the blazer. I know a lot of people like to wear the blazer longer, but I prefer to have the shorts a little bit longer. If you don't like the olive blazer, then you could do the taupe color blazer and that also creates a really fun look. So you have some options. If you get some blazers that you want to mix and match, really find colors that go with a lot of the things you have, maybe some neutrals like these, and you can pretty much wear them with just about anything. Now I just wanna show you that if you wanna kick this outfit up a notch and go from the flat sandals to a heel and maybe a dressier earring, then you have a look that will take you to dinner, to a meeting, whatever it is where you need like a smart casual to semi-dressy look. And I think the olive blazer works beautifully with this. I think the darker color with the black shorts and that lighter pop underneath it works really well but I also love the taupe blazer. I think the taupe blazer kind of tones it down just a little bit, but still gives you a really put together look and is really nice if you have somewhere you need to go. And if you wanted to change out these heels, I actually got these in a tan color to put with this, but I have not received them yet. So think about this outfit also with a pair of tan shoes, even though you just have that pop of black, I still think that would work as well. Some other combinations that you can do that are pretty classic and basic, but still look really good, are to take any of those t-shirts and layer them underneath the blazers. And you can even throw sneakers on with some of these outfits. And it's just a little more of a snappy, casual look in my mind. And if you are a blazer girl like I am, this is a great way to put together an outfit, to run around, even go to the grocery store and just look really put together and really stylish. So those are all of the outfits I have time for today. I could put together a ton more outfits for you, but I think with the two videos, it's probably close to 20 outfits that you have that you could do, which is a lot. And I have a tendency to wear some of the same things over and over again, but if you're the type that likes to mix it up and have different things, then you need a very small amount of pieces to do some really fun outfits. So I just encourage you to think outside of the box with your basics and find things that are really versatile in your wardrobe that go along with some of the other trendier pieces that you might have. And some of those trendy pieces might be a good basic. As you can see, some of mine are for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you could give me a thumbs up, if you got this far, I would love that and hit that subscribe button. And also check out my online style app that I have available for you that shows you tons and tons and tons of outfit options that you have to put things together. And check that out. It'll be in the info section. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.